So as you can see, we are now in my bedroom and there's a beautiful view of Table Mountain at the back. So in the bedroom on the night stands, I have two snake plants on either side. Um, yeah, and they're absolutely great there. This one, uh, because it's in the corner, it doesn't really get a lot of light, whereas um, that one gets more light because of the way that the light falls in through the window. On the windowsill, I have quite a few plants. Um, these plants stay here permanently because of this is a south eastern. No, I think this is only a south exposure because we can obviously see Tail Mountain and that has to be south. This is a south exposure, so this um, window cell does not get hot afternoon sun. So it's absolutely perfect for these plants. So the first one we have here is also a small asparagus fern. Actually a very easy to care for indoor plant. Um, it does like um, indirect light but no direct sunlight. Here we have a Aglaonema. I've actually forgotten the name of this plant, but um, it is an Aglaonema. Also, re really easy to care for plant. Also, does well in lower light situations, but here it gets indirect bright light and it's also thriving. And then, one of my favorites is my Anthurium Trigianum bright orange. And it's now in flower. It has a beautiful um, spathe with a curly um, spadex. I think so. Um, it's quite a small plant, but I do think it's cute. And I mean, if you look at the size of the flower in relation to the plant, yeah, that does look nice, I have to admit. And then, yeah, I have a small little Sansevieria. I think this, they call this Sansevieria starfish, I think. But it's also in height, it, it has sharp edges, so it will hatch out for your eyes. But yeah, it's also a nice little home and maintenance plant. And here we have my Philodendron um, Vericosum. It also has these gorgeous uh, fuzzy petals. I'm actually extremely happy with how this plant has been like, growing. Um, it is producing a new leaf out there from that shoot, so I'm very happy. And then here we have a small um, Anthurium clarinherbium. This is the one, of course, with the velvet leaves. This plant is actually, I think, in need of a repot. So that's also going to be in the next video. And there at the bottom, you guys can obviously also see the garden. And then here we have this little menage a trois. Um, this is a alocasia, which I actually think it's not getting enough height over here because you see the leaves are kind of bent forward. So I'm thinking I might have to move this. Of course, this fiddly fig is doing, the fiddle leaf fig is doing absolutely like, great over here. It's having life, you know, like getting bright in the regular height from the window. And then here on the floor, there's a small little, um, this is Sansevieria Moonshine, I think. It has the, the, the grey um, foliage. Like, great plant, totally low maintenance. You know, it just like, like um, sits there and like, grows without, yeah, without any effort. Okay. And then over here, we have a big Monstera. I was actually slightly surprised when I looked at my last house plant tour at how small this plant was. And now it's become like this big, and I've actually cut off some of the leaves because it was blocking like the path into the um, bathroom. So yeah, so this is a Monstera. It's absolutely loving the life, like, you know, getting 
to derive uh, indirect light from that pin there. Yeah, it has uh, penetrations in it, but obviously not as big as the one outside. Then here at the back of the Monstera, we have a big clump of sands of Heria. Um, also doing low grade there, um, no issues. And then over here we do have a semi dehydrated um, golden pothos, which is in need of some um, water. Um, and it's like hanging down, but it's also climbing up and being here at the back. And then on this frame, along with the pathos, there is a um, Monstera adansonii. It's not looking its best. And I'm thinking it's not getting enough light. So this is going to be one of the plants in the new place that I'm like, um, going to try to put closer to a light source. And perhaps because my, my idea was to have this frame completely covered in it. But yeah, but it's, yeah, it has some lack uh, luster. I don't think it's very happy in its current spot.